The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... If you're looking for a place that has history, culture, and outdoor adventures all wrapped up in one location, look no further than Bedford, Virginia. I started my day here at their beautiful Welcome Center to plan my day. I picked up some brochures of places that I heard an awful lot about, but I have never visited, and I was ready for my adventure. I started the day here at Poplar Forest, Thomas Jefferson's retreat house, an octagonal home that Jefferson designed but never completed. Like most Jefferson uh, architectural projects, never quite finished. He, he began work, as I mentioned, 1806, planning it. He actually helped lay out the original foundation because it was such a, a, a problem mathematically to do. And then as he came down, he would spend time here, and the craftsmen, both free and enslaved, would be building the house around him, uh, which probably was fascinating for him. He probably loved that experience. Today, the home is being rebuilt, and visitors here can tour the home exactly as Jefferson imagined it. What you see behind me today is really the, the completed exterior restoration of the house, back to what Jefferson wanted. The goal is to finish the interior and the landscape around it. So we have uh, several years ago on the work on the interior, and all the work is done by hand uh, by our craftsmen using traditional methods and tools, and even in the way Jefferson would have wanted the house put together piece by piece, element by element. Stand in the room where he slept, sit on reproductions of his furniture, and see the building practices of this era as its completion continues. On the property, archaeologists dig to uncover fascinating artifacts of the slaves who helped construct the main house. We're looking for um, the remains of a slave quarter that stood here sometime about the 1830s, maybe up to the 1850s. We found this site two years ago when in preparation for building a new entrance into Poplar Forest. We recognize that this is an important part of the history of Poplar Forest. We can tell the story of uh, slavery at this site. And so we decided to preserve it. And rather than put the road through it, we routed the road around it. Daily discoveries like these ceramic pieces and buttons, remains of everyday life that helps them tell the story of Poplar Forest. Enjoy the great outdoors, there is no better place than the Peaks of Otter. The three peaks, Sharp Top, Flat Top, and Harkening Hill offer amazing hiking opportunities. A definite must when you come to Bedford is the hike up Sharp Top Mountain. Now, you can hike the one and a half miles straight up the mountain, or you can do what I do and take the shuttle. Either way, when you get to the top and you take a look at this view, it is definitely worth the effort. You hear from a lot of people that reach the summit up here, the words wow or awesome and amazing. I think a lot of words are lacking to describe the scenery that you see as well. And that's one reason I think this peak has been so popular for so many years. A lot of people come back year after year and, uh, you know, they had a great first experience or maybe even just a good experience, but enough that they wanted to come back and see it in a different season. And, you know, the scenery here changes as the days go by. Um, summer is a time of green. Fall is just every color you can imagine. In the wintertime, with the leaves off, you can see a lot further. The air is clear. You even see it in the snow and in the winter with icicles hanging on things. And then the wildflowers and just the touch of green of spring. Each of those things is, uh, is worth coming back to see. Spend the afternoon exploring this area or stay a while. For your overnight accommodations, there is the iconic Peaks of Otter Lodge, which has been here for 54 years. All 63 rooms here have been recently remodeled and new upgrades are being added. We just renovated the uh, main lodge here. We just uh, repainted it, um, new decor. We, we took out the, uh, the buff old buffet, put in a brand new buffet and an action station cupola. Um, changed this over to more of a lounge as opposed to this was kind of just an extension of the dining room but uh, we've turned this into more of a lounge with nightly entertainment uh, on the weekends. And we put in some Adirondack chairs around the lake. People love uh, to come and sit by the lake. The restaurant here serves up breakfast, lunch, and dinner daily and offers a beautiful view as you relax and enjoy your food. These are just the few things that I experienced during my visit, but there's so much more. You can easily spend the day exploring the fascinating history at D-Day Memorial or enjoy the waters along Smith Mountain Lake. 
But no matter how you spend your day, you'll find something extraordinary right here in Bedford, Virginia. And we didn't even touch the surface on all that you can see and do in Bedford. For more on all that I did and other great ideas, log on to their website at visitbedford.com. And for more on this and other great In A Day's Drive ideas, visit our website at inadaysdrive.com.